thank you guys for tuning in my channel today i'll be showing you how to make simple crunchy chin chin i'll be sifting my flour here is my flour i'll be adding some sugar feel free to add your dates powder your honey next i'll be adding our baking powder a teaspoon of baking powder is okay some nutmeg i'll be grating some nutmeg feel free to use your powder nutmeg so guys next i'll be adding a pinch of salt just a pinch of salt guys and i'll be combining everything together next i added my milk flavor i'll be combining to make sure everything combines at every point yes next i'll be adding our cooking and baking pad and baking butter of course you can use for cooking you can use it for baking as well so i'll be combining everything together the purpose of this video is to discover if there is anything um, seriously or significantly different about the baked chim chim or the fried one. Yes, I will be finding out at the end of this video. Yes. So yeah, next is our egg and some evaporated milk. I created a well at the middle of the bowl. I will be adding this mixture, the liquid mixture so i'll be combining them gradually you can see our bowl is already filled up to the brim you should have something like this after you finish mixing it shouldn't be so 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 serious you should be deliberate about it guys you don't have to you don't want to have a strong changing yes so when you have your dough like this your changing will end up being crunchy and soft i'll be cleaning our wax surface here so i added um uh, uh flour so we don't have to battle with the surface and the dough being sticky so i'll be knitting i'll be flattening it so i can cut the chin chin if you're still watching till this moment thank you so much and also a big thank you to all my viewers and all my new followers thank you so much i appreciate and also to all my returning viewers god bless you all so I'll be cutting into our desired shape. Feel free to cut into any desired shape or size of your choice. So in this pan, I'll be setting the ones we'll be putting in the oven. Yes, I've heard so much about this big chin chin. I want to know if it's worth the hype. Yes, guys. So I'll be putting it into the oven to bake. Yes. So guys, while we are putting it into the oven, our oil is on the fire. Let's see if it has heated up. At this point it's heated up we're going to be adding some chin chin dough in it to fry um on a medium heat yes so a few moments later our chin chin has given us a gold brown you shouldn't allow your chin chin to get beyond this color because as it as it's cooling off if the color will be improving yes so don't allow it to turn so brown on while still on the fire okay you don't want to have a very dark chin chin or very dark brown chin chin as the case may be so i'll be taking it off the the oil we'll be continuing this process until we are done so look at the face of that chin chin guys oh my god please do not keep your christmas visitors waiting you should give them something like this to while away time while you are in the kitchen still making the real food so guys this is the face of the baked chin chin i think i still prefer the fried one see you again some other time bye